have not given up. I just want to give them a chance. Do you two recognize that broken down machine over there? The robot that we can kind of control it when you we do that weekly. I thought you might. Miss Topaz, I know you've done a lot of research into Bellabog. I was wondering if there was any information on the engine of creation in your records? Not at all. Which is why I find it so incredible. Such a massive feat of engineering, yet there's not a single mention of it in any of the Strategic Investment Department's reports. I may know the reason why. The engine of creation was constructed solely by the people of Bellabog, without any external assistance. The project was led by the first Supreme Guardian, Alyssa Rand. While warriors fought on the front lines, the engineers worked tirelessly behind the scenes, designing and constructing it. So what you're saying is, the engine of creation was a weapon constructed by the Bellabogians themselves? Yes, but not entirely. The engine of creation was commissioned for combat shortly after its completion, and played a significant role in the battles against the Legion. But Alyssa Rand had a long-term vision, one that nobody anticipated. For a long time, this feat of engineering was codenamed the Geological Reconstruction Unit. It was actually given a much grander purpose, to help the Bellabogians rebuild their homeland and restore their world to its former glory after driving away all those who threatened it. <sighs> Remarkable. A vision that would transcend both time and generations of Bellabogians. <sighs> Madame Rand was truly an inspiring leader. I, not to take away from the Supreme Guardian in front of me. <laughs> She's quite the inspiring leader as well. Ah, uh, thank you. But I didn't really do anything. All I did was bring the people of Bellabog together and make them aware that our hard-earned freedom was under immense threat once again. If we want to preserve this freedom, we must act and show those who doubt us that we, Bellabog, have the will and the ability to control our own destiny. The outcome of our mobilization speaks for itself. The children of Bellabog have made their decision. They have chosen to preserve this homeland with their own two hands. I must say, I didn't anticipate this at all. I'll fight for this opportunity for you, Branya. I shouldn't have conflated your own circumstances with my childhood. That was a serious lapse of judgment on my part. Well, I bet you use that tactic never every time. I had a resolute leader, so people gave up on the idea of saving themselves long ago. But your civilization has persisted through the snow and storms for 700 years. A truly admirable feat. Then, are you willing to retract your previous decision? As for the debt, we'll find a way to gradually repay it. But it'll take some time. Unfortunately, the acquisition of Urillo 6 is a strategic decision that's been approved by the IPC's top brass. Even if I wanted to overturn it, convincing them would be extremely difficult. Unless... Don't worry, Miss Topaz. Myself and all of the Nameless aboard the Astral Express are willing to vouch for this world. Fantastic. That might just work. 
As for the, uh, reports and potential accountability... <sighs> I'll handle it. Okay, you better say how in the world did you come in at uh, her uh, because no way you just You know? <laughs> I'd heard you and March speak highly of the Supreme Guardian before, but seeing her methods firsthand left me in awe. We should also be glad that Miss Topaz is the one in charge of the Urilo 6 project. If it were someone else from the strategic investment department, things might have gotten complicated. The Strategic Investment Department comprises the IPC's most elite employees, many of whom can be very... forceful. Let's talk about this later, when you're back on the Express. You and March must be tired after such an incredible journey. It's time you got some well-deserved rest. Yeah, but you still not explain how in the world did you come out, like, you refused to come with us. And then you bust in, knowing the answer. <sighs> I was worried things were gonna get ugly again. A peaceful solution is always the best solution. Uh, speaking of solutions, are they repairing that giant robot? The one we fought against? I remember you took control of it and helped us defeat Kakolia. That's the whole reason we came here in the first place. Well, looks like everyone in the city is helping with construction. Doubt there will be much time for celebrating. Uh, still, look on the bright side. We got to meet a top IPC executive. <laughs> the trip wasn't a complete waste, right? Miss Topaz, you mentioned accountability. Don't worry, it's it's nothing I can't handle. There are more important things than titles and ranks. Finding the best solution is what matters most. If that's what they want to do, then so be it. I've long passed the stage of working just for money. Uh, thank you so much for all you've done. I never thought we'd drag the Express into a crisis again. Much less one that might cause a rift between you and the IPC. A rift? I wouldn't go that far. Also, it's me who's mostly to blame. I didn't keep my subordinates in check. Thinking about a career change? Sure thing. I'll put in the best words I can. <laughs> I'm glad we're able to discuss some lighter topics. Well, you all need some rest after everything you've been through. I have arranged rooms for you all at the Goethe Hotel. Miss Topaz, if you need somewhere comfortable to stay. Ah, I appreciate the offer, but... I need to head back and deliver my reports. It's been great getting to know you both. I hope we can work together again in the future. Only next time under better circumstances. I've been wondering... How did you figure out what was happening here on Bellabog, Himeko? <laughs> well, you know... Keeping an eye on the crew is just another part of a navigator's job. Really? That's the answer? He is up somehow in... March was looking forward to the Soul Warm Festival for ages. Looks like she's missed her chance. This time. 
I never thought this trip would be so... <sighs> tiring. Time for bed. You're not kidding. I'm actually surprised he can actually talk. In light of the events that have transpired, we will be taking the following disciplinary measures against you. Your rank will be demoted from P45 to P44 with corresponding adjustment to your basic salary. All bonuses for the current cycle will be revoked, including stock options and performance bonuses. You will need to submit an additional report regarding this incident to Diamond. If you have Diamond? any objections to this penalty, you may also file an appeal in writing. I have no objections. Understood. Is there anything else anyone would like to add? If there are no further remarks, this meeting is concluded. <laughs> oh, you only got demoted one rank? Phew, you dodged a bullet there. Pretty big project to mess up on. Someone must be looking out for you. Oh, they've already left the call. Ugh, this voice changer is driving me crazy. Let me turn it off. Wait, what? Why are you still on the line? Huh? Hey, what's with the hostility? It's not like I'm your boss. Oh, wait. I guess I am now. <laughs> my apologies. I'm still getting used to my new place in the hierarchy. We know what this is. Can I help you? If you've got something to say, say it already. Oh, nothing important. Just checking in on you. I told you Urillo 6 would be a high-risk, low-reward case. Why do you even bother? In our line of work, having a kind heart can be more of a liability than an asset. If you're not careful, you'll end up leading yourself down a dead-end road. Anything else? If not, I'm hanging up. Wait. Hold on a minute. Don't hang up. I get it. You're not in the mood for this conversation right now. Okay. How about this? Something that might interest you. While you were enjoying your playtime on Urillo 6, Diamond was busy taking care of the head honcho of the Building Material Logistics Department. That's why he didn't attend today's meeting. When who? A Terravan? Who? That's right. The renowned Terravan. One of the seven board members. He's throwing his support behind us instead of the marketing development department for once. <laughs> Oswaldo won't be laughing anymore. What do you Diamond's speak been a great help to both of us. Your antics on such a crucial day can't exactly have painted the strategic investment department in a good light, you know? <sighs> Since you get the point, let's get down to business. I'm currently at Pierpoint. There's a major deal that could affect the whole department. I just so happen to need a reliable project manager for the job. What do you say, old friend? Huh. And what prompted the mighty Aventurine to start collaborating with others? Panacone. What else? What? <laughs> that's right. Now that's the kind of reaction I was hoping for. Uh, hold on a minute. Diamond picked you for this project? I, I was expecting someone like Opal or uh, Obsidian to handle it. At least someone higher than rank P46. Honestly, who knows? The family has some pretty questionable characters. If you ask me, doing business with them is a lost cause. But as we both know, the IPC does more than just business deals. Guess it's my time to shine. So, how about it? This is a rare opportunity. Consider it. You never know, you might even be able to make up for your blunder on your Rillo 6. Uh, I'll get back to you later. <sighs> 
Seems like it's just one wild ride after another. I hope I made the right decision this time. Is that what? Oh, and she is gonna visit us. Really? To play a game? We all know how to play a game are nowadays. Yeah, this is DJ Man. Yeah, what a coincidence. Okay. Well, I guess that's gonna be a quest for that eh? that we're gonna do off screen, sorry. But in China is that you scan people and mm, you scan muscle and you can get uh, them as mass. Oh, but I don't know what to say. I think I have like two hours or more. But yeah, that's gonna be fall. I'm happy I get her, but I'm not sure how long my luck is gonna keep up. Now, excuse me, I have to do my dailies for my other gacha. So, see you next time. Ah, oh,